Hi guys, Chris Parkin here from SIT and Rotary Camera Club and I'm just going to show you a little bit about perspective distortion or lens compression. So we're at Rotary Archery Club here um, where I usually shoot bows and arrows rather than my camera but um, we're going to use the butts, that is the, the things that you shoot at, um, as the, the example and show you some of the, the tricks and, that you can you may or may not have, have noticed when you're zooming. So first of all if we just zoom in, um, this is an 18mm lens at the moment and this is a 200mm, you'll notice that the field of view reduces significantly. Um, you'll also probably realise from your reading that the amount of time that you can hand hold your lens for um, decreases significantly. The, the rough rule of thumb is if you've got a 200mm lens then you're looking at 200th of a second. If you've got a 500mm lens, then you're looking at 1 500th of a second. If you've got a 20mm lens, you're looking at 1 20th of a second. Um, obviously, if the object that you're shooting is moving, then you need to double it, roughly. Um, and the rule of thumb for if you're moving is you triple the, the amount of time. So, okay, let's, let's get on with this. Now, so the difference between those two um, is obviously the field of view and your depth of field changes as well um, quite noticeably when you go for a, a wide angle lens. The other thing to notice is if you crop in um, and stay in the same place then this is a crop of our 18mm shot this is our 200mm shot. There's virtually no difference except for the fact that I've lost resolution and it won't blow up quite as big and that's simply because when you're zooming, all you're doing is changing that field of view. If, however, instead of changing your zoom, uh, instead of just changing your zoom, you change your zoom and change where you are sitting or standing, you'll notice that things start to get interesting. You'll notice that the objects in the background start to get smaller the closer that you are to the object. So the butt in the front foreground should be roughly the same size in each of these shots, and you'll notice that the butts behind are getting further and further away, perspective wise, They're smaller and smaller as far as we're concerned in 2D. Um, so this is 18mm um, and close up, and this is an 8mm, um, now it's a fisheye lens which means that we do have this bending distortion, um, you can actually get rid of it in Photoshop, and I haven't done that this time. So you can see from this point of view, the butt's now so big that it's covering up the other ones. Um, the So that can be really useful if that object is the main object that you want plus you want the background. Wide angle lens um, can be very useful. If you want all the objects to feel that they're compressed into each other then going back and using a long lens can be really useful for that. Um, now I couldn't quite get in the right position for this um, so that's our 200mm and this is a 500mm and you'll notice that the, the butts are even bigger in terms of size difference between the, them whereas this is 15 to 20 meters um, distance between the butts um, yet they look almost on top of each other so yeah really useful technique and we'll show you um, that in practice in another way in a second so this is Rotorua Museum, um, the old bathhouses, and I'm going to show you the same same technique, but this time I'm going to keep the bathhouse roughly in the same position in the frame, and we'll see what happens to everything in the, the foreground. So as we cross the road, you'll notice that the, the objects in the foreground um, will slowly come towards us and eventually vanish as we, we walk past them, which is fairly self-explanatory. Um, but the interesting thing about this is it allows would allow us to use things like these trees, uh, or this tree as a frame. I haven't actually gone close enough, and the next shot it's, it's out of the, the image, but it gives you an idea of, of what you can do. Um, this little booth for the um, bowling green um, ends up getting in the way. If I was actually shooting this, um, probably I'd probably want to get on a step stool and shoot over the top. Um, like that will stick the, the camera on a monopod and, and lift it up. Um, but what I can do is, this is my 8mm fisheye again, and I've got rid of most of the, the bend in the fisheye. Um, 
and you can see how the palm trees even have, have got out of the way. Um, this is the, the shot pre pre Photoshop, so obviously I've still got some of the bend in the, the trees to get rid of. Um, but yeah, just changing your, your zoom can make a huge difference to the way that you're composing the image. But don't forget, zooming will make a huge difference. Actually physically moving and zooming gives you, really gives you some power. So hopefully those trips and tick there. <laughs> Hopefully that will have been some use to you, um, and I need to go and get a cup of coffee, so alright, catch you guys later.